Hi, I'm Troy Taylor, Technical Engagement Engineer at Grape City Developer Solutions. In this video, we'll walk through everything you need to start using Witch Mode Controls today. We'll download the product, demonstrate the setup process, and add Witch Mode's popular data grid, FlexGrid, to an application. Let's get started with Witch Mode. Witch Mode is a JavaScript library of UI controls for data-driven applications. It contains controls like grids, charts, gauges, and input as well as some data management utilities. The Widgmo library is framework agnostic, so you can use this set of controls with the framework of your choice. The Widgmo team provides interops for popular JavaScript frameworks, including Angular, AngularJS, React, Vue, and Knockout. To download Widgmo, visit grapecity.com. If you've purchased a license, you'll need to log into your grapecity.com account and download the license version in the My Licenses section of your account. Otherwise, click Download on the website. Download the latest version of Widgmo to get started. Once the Widgmo package is downloaded and unzipped, you'll see several folders. The disk folder contains the JavaScript controls and CSS classes. The NPM images folder contains AMD, system, and CommonJS modules for NPM and Angular projects. The Samples folder contains dozens of sample applications and source code for Widgmo samples. You can use these samples as a reference to understand implementation details of application-specific features. You can also find out more about the controls by checking out the documentation and API. Now that we've downloaded the Widgmo files, let's use them in a simple web application. First, we'll need to create an HTML file. Our next step is to add the Widgmo files to our project so we can reference them in our application. We'll need to copy the Widgmo files to our project directory. In this example, I've created a scripts folder for JavaScript files and a styles folder for CSS style sheets. Now let's copy some files from the disk folder in the Widgmo download. Copy the controls folder to the scripts vendor folder of the project. Once the files are in the right location, we can reference them in the head section of our web page. Widgmo uses a modular architecture. There are dozens of files that contain classes and implementations for the controls. You only need to load files based on the controls you're using. This ensures that your application is as fast and lightweight as possible. All Widgmo applications require two files. Widgmo.min.js and Widgmo.min.css. The JavaScript files contains the core infrastructure of Widgmo, and the CSS file contains the classes to style Widgmo controls. It's important to note that the browser loads files in the order they're listed, so the Widgmo JavaScript file must be loaded before any other Widgmo control file. Let's reference the Widgmo JavaScript file first, and then the Widgmo CSS file. Since we're using the flex grid, we need to include the file containing the FlexGrid's implementation. This is widgmo.grid.min.js. Our other controls follow a similar naming convention. A full list of files is outlined in the documentation. Now that we have Widgmo in our application, we can start using the controls. Every Widgmo control is associated with an HTML element that hosts it on the page. To create a control, we'll start by adding a div element. Let's give the div an ID and call it FlexGrid. To add a FlexGrid, create a variable and use the FlexGrid's constructor to instantiate the grid object. The constructor takes the ID of the host element as the first parameter. Widgmo is written in TypeScript, and as you can see, you'll get full IntelliSense in Visual Studio Code. So now we've created a FlexGrid object, but we're not displaying any data. The FlexGrid binds to arrays, so let's create one. I've copied some data into a simple JavaScript array called products. Set the FlexGrid's item source property to products. Each object in the array will correspond to a single row in the FlexGrid. Let's look at our bound FlexGrid in a browser. The data displays and we're ready to begin adding features. 
I hope you found this tutorial helpful. You might also want to try using Learn Widgmo, a collection of fiddles that allows you to experiment with Widgmo's controls. Documentation, videos, blogs, and other information is located on our website at grapecity.com.